Hello, my name is Brian Kessler, and I'm going to talk about how to start a community event website. Uh, one of the first things you might want to think about is the domain name. You want to think of something distinctive, short, easy to remember, and uh, unique. Um, so uh, you probably want something that's going to end with .com or maybe .net. There's any other, many other endings, but um, well, people will probably confuse them and try to go to .com and you'll send your business to somewhere else. Uh, it's very fashionable to drop E's out of names, like Flickr without the E is a very popular website. Um, it's very much about your imagination. Try to come up with something short and catchy. The next thing you have to figure out is where do you want to host it? And there are various services. Um, one of the services I like to use is called freehostia.com. Uh, it's uh, relatively quick and simple, and the servers are relatively reliable for a free hosting service, and they haven't put any ads on my sites yet. Uh, so something you might want to look into. Uh, for professional hosting, dreamhosting.com is a good site. Uh, many, many hosts out there. Uh, you'll, there are many variables involved. Uh, today's modern websites, you're going to want to use some sort of a server-side scripting uh, language, such as uh, PHP or ASP, in order to have a dynamic website rather than the static sites of yesteryear where HTML was enough. Uh, and different hosts are going to support different uh, certain different languages. If, you, if you're, uh, I would recommend looking for something that uh, supports PHP if you're getting started and if you're looking to develop something relatively inexpensive. PHP is relatively flexible and fast and there's a lot of support out there and if you're looking to get into developing it's, it's, it's good to get easy to get started with. Uh, but again you have to figure out what suits your needs. Uh, one of the things you might want to think about is also whether you want to use software that already exists, open source software uh, for running a forum or a content management system. Uh, a lot of open source, so source software is written in PHP, which is why I suggest looking for a server that hosts uh, a hosting service that supports PHP.